In a recent announcement, Elon Musk revealed that SpaceX has secured approval for the upcoming launch of the Starship, a colossal spacecraft touted as the world's largest and most powerful rocket. Before we start, I'm genuinely grateful to have you hanging out with us today. If this is your first time, a warm welcome to our little corner of the internet. Before we dive into the video, I want to personally invite you to become a part of our family by hitting that subscribe button. It means the world to us! This revelation comes six months after the initial launch of the Mammoth rocket, which unfortunately ended in a mid-air explosion just four minutes into its maiden voyage. The Starship, a behemoth consisting of the Super Heavy booster and rocket components, is designed to reach unprecedented heights, standing at an impressive 395 feet tall. The ill-fated first mission, scheduled to ascend 150 miles into the atmosphere and cruise for an hour before crashing into the Pacific Ocean, was cut short due to the activation of SpaceX's flight termination system. Awaiting regulatory approval from the Federal Aviation Administration, FAA, SpaceX had been undergoing an environmental review of the previous prototype. While the safety review by the FAA concluded in October, final approval hinges on the endorsement from the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. The company optimistically shared on November 10th that the second flight test is anticipated to take place as early as November 17th, pending the necessary regulatory green light. In addition to regulatory hurdles, SpaceX has been diligently working on repairing the launch pad damaged during the initial launch. Elon Musk, sharing updates on November 13th, expressed confidence that the required approval would be secured in time for a Friday launch. The Starship, comprising the Super Heavy booster and Starship itself, possesses an extraordinary capability to generate 16.7 million pounds of thrust at liftoff, more than double the power of the Saturn V rockets that propelled Apollo astronauts to the moon. The upcoming launch on Friday is expected to follow a similar trajectory as the April mission although there is widespread anticipation for a more favorable outcome this time. Recalling the ill-fated April 20th launch, the rocket ignited its engines at 9.33 a.m. ET on the Boca Chica, Texas launch pad. The mission showed promise as Starship accelerated to 1,242 miles per hour, steadily ascending into the sky. However, cheers in the control room turned to concern as the rocket experienced a tailspin at 3 minutes and 31 seconds, ultimately leading to a mid-air explosion at 3 minutes and 59 seconds. Despite the setback, SpaceX's team remained optimistic, emphasizing the experimental nature of the launch. Musk and the company's leadership reiterated that any successful liftoff from the launch pad would be considered a triumph. As the eagerly awaited Friday launch approaches, the world watches with bated breath, hopeful for a successful demonstration of the Starship's capabilities. SpaceX continues to push the boundaries of space technology, and the recent enhancements to its Starship Mega Rocket exemplify the company's unwavering commitment to innovation. Detailed images have emerged, shedding light on two significant updates to this revolutionary spacecraft, indicating a substantial stride forward in space exploration capabilities. A primary modification involves the strategic incorporation of a vent between the stages of the Starship. This isn't merely a superficial adjustment. It stands as a pivotal enhancement poised to augment the rocket's structural integrity and operational efficiency during its arduous journey through Earth's atmosphere and into the vastness of space. The introduction of this vent showcases SpaceX's dedication to a continuous refinement of spacecraft design, emphasizing reliability and safety. The second notable transformation centers around the launch pad itself, where a state-of-the-art flooding system has been seamlessly integrated. Engineered to shield the launch pad from the extreme heat and energy generated during liftoff, this system not only safeguards SpaceX's infrastructure, but also embeds sustainability into its operational ethos. The capability to preserve and reuse the launch pad holds the promise of more frequent launches, thereby minimizing the turnaround time between missions. Under the visionary leadership of Elon Musk, SpaceX boldly embraces substantial changes in pursuit of its ambitious objectives. These recent adjustments underscore SpaceX's steadfast commitment to advancing its technology, catering to both imminent requirements and the eventualities of interplanetary travel. Through the Starship program, SpaceX lays the groundwork for a potential new era in space exploration, 
characterized by rockets and support systems that seamlessly blend efficiency with power. In this relentless pursuit of advancement, SpaceX charts a course towards a future where the boundaries of space exploration are redefined. Embarking on a grandiose mission that stands as a noteworthy achievement in the chronicles of space exploration, NASA is diligently piecing together twin rocket boosters for the Artemis II mission, a groundbreaking endeavor slated to transport four astronauts to the moon by 2024. Recently delivered to NASA's Kennedy Space Center, KSC, these mammoth rocket boosters, each equivalent in mass to four blue whales, signal a pivotal moment in the preparation for this ambitious lunar mission. Artemis II, charting a course for lunar exploration. The Artemis II mission, poised to complete an orbit around the moon before returning, represents a crucial testing phase for the Orion spacecraft systems. This mission acts as a precursor to the eagerly anticipated Artemis III lunar landing, scheduled for either 2025 or 2026. The Artemis II crew, consisting of NASA Commander Reed Wiseman, Pilot Victor Glover, Mission Specialist Christina Koch, and the Canadian Space Agency's Mission Specialist Jeremy Hansen, is poised to etch their names in history. Glover's inclusion is particularly noteworthy, as it marks him as the first black astronaut to venture beyond low Earth orbit. Simultaneously, Koch and Hansen will become the first woman and Canadian, respectively, to participate in a lunar mission. Constructing the Giants Rocket boosters for Artemis II crafted by Northrop Grumman and weighing a staggering 1.6 million pounds each. These colossal boosters play a pivotal role in powering the Space Launch System, SLS rocket, specifically designed for propelling astronauts to the moon. The assembly process at KSC involves meticulously piecing together the booster's aft segment, a vital component guiding the boosters during their flight. Executed with precision and skill, technicians employ two 200-ton cranes to maneuver the colossal booster segments, each towering between 26 to 33 feet high and tipping the scales at around 150 tons. From the shuttle program to SLS, a new era of space travel. Drawing inspiration from the booster design of the space shuttle program, each SLS booster comprises five segments, one more than its predecessor. This modification becomes imperative to accommodate the larger SLS rocket. The ongoing aft assembly unfolds at KSC's rotation processing and surge facility, while nearby, other booster parts await their turn for assembly. Once the assembly is complete, all segments, including the fully assembled aft components, will undergo transportation to NASA's renowned vehicle assembly building for further assembly on the mobile launcher. As NASA propels forward in its endeavor to return astronauts to the moon, the construction of the Artemis II rocket boosters emerges as a monumental stride in the agency's overarching Artemis program. Beyond the moon, NASA envisions the Artemis program not only revisiting lunar landscapes, but also establishing sustainable lunar exploration, laying the groundwork for future crewed missions destined for Mars and beyond. This orchestrated dance of science, engineering, and ambition signifies humanity's unwavering commitment to exploring the cosmos.